Happy Easter, guys. Happy Easter special friends. Welcome back to Mrs. Ashley's Learning Emporium. I'm your special friend, Mrs. Ashley. We've already started our month of April writing stories, but I thought I would write one special just for you this Easter. This story is called Sasha and Winston's Special Easter by Mrs. Ashley. Sasha and Winston's favorite holiday was Easter. Each year, their parents would plan things to do the entire weekend of Easter. They go to marshmallow drops, have their friends come over to bake special treats, and even go on Easter egg hunts. When it seemed that there could be no more fun, their mom and dad would surprise them with Easter baskets. Each year, the baskets seemed to get bigger and better than the year before. Last year, Winston's basket had slime, Lego kits, a chocolate Easter bunny, a new book he'd asked for, and his favorite treats. Sasha's basket was filled with an art kit, a journal, fruity candy, and a chef set she had wanted. But this year was different. This year, there was a rule that everyone had to stay in the house. Sasha and Winston understood that it was to keep everyone safe, but they were still sad. Though they loved their Easter baskets, the excitement of Easter egg hunts and spending time with their friends was the best part of Easter. Sasha and Winston talked to each other about how they could make this Easter special, despite having to stay in. Winston loved to turn old things into new things, and Sasha loved art. After their mom used the last egg from the carton, she went to throw it away. The carton slipped out of her hands and landed upside down. This gave Winston an idea. Each egg holder in the bottom of the car carton was the shape of an egg. Maybe if he cut each of them, it could look like the plastic eggs he'd search for and find treats in each year. Sasha loved Winston's idea. She told him that she could paint the egg holders beautiful colors and use her leftover Easter bag grass from last year to hide the eggs in. The two got to work with their project and had lots of fun decorating it. Before long, it was time to go to bed. They both went to bed feeling happier about Easter coming the very next day. When they woke up, they saw a sign over their project that read, Sasha and Winston's Easter egg hunt. Time to go on a hunt and see what you can find under your eggs. Their dad smiled. Sasha and Winston looked at each other with excitement. As they began to lift the eggs, some held candy and some held small toys. They raced to see who could find the most things. When all the goodies had been found, Sasha and Winston smiled to themselves. This Easter had been great because they had gotten creative and tried something new. They had learned that no matter what changed in their lives, they had the power to make it fun, even for Easter. One last surprise, they heard their mother say happily. In dad's hands were Easter baskets for each of them. Happy Easter, the family all said to each other. It was happy and special indeed. Special friends, our friends Sasha and Winston had lots of fun doing a special project and I thought we could do it too. With your parents' permission, if you have an egg carton that you are about to throw away, or even maybe your parents will let you put the leftover eggs in a bowl and put them in the refrigerator, we can use that egg carton just like Sasha and Winston did. You can see the steps that I did here to turn my egg carton into eggs for our Easter egg hunt.
Hey special friends, I'm still in my little workstation. My egg holders have dried for the most part and I started decorating them. And you see, there's no rule to decorating. You can do it whichever way that you like. Or if you just wanna leave them a solid color, that's fine too. Great job, special friends. Our eggs turned out so cool and beautiful. Here are a few of my favorites. Do you have some favorites too? This project was really fun and pretty easy. All we needed was an egg carton and some washable paint. You could use your fingers, I guess, but Mrs. Ashley used paint brushes. I hope that you like how your eggs turn out. But now it's time to make our Easter egg hunt. Of course, I have some of my favorite chocolate bunnies here, and I even have a little bunny to give us some Easter inspiration. I have some grass left over from an Easter basket, actually from last year, and then I have this cute little tile. But even if you don't have a really cute little tile with bunnies on it, you can use a big sheet of paper or a couple of pieces of paper and draw bunnies of your own. And that will show even more of your creativity. Aside from my eggs, I have some of my favorite candies. I have Easter M&Ms, some Skittles, and some chocolate eggs. I didn't have any toys small enough, but if you do, you can add them to your Easter egg hunt. Are you ready to get started? Awesome. So here I have some Skittles. I'm gonna take a few or more and I'm gonna find a space on my egg hunt mat. I'll add four. Four seems like a good number. And I'll put an egg over it. Now, because our eggs aren't perfect, I'll use some of the grass to cover them up. And I'm gonna put this one here. Just move that grass around. This is a perfect activity if you have little ones in your house or even if you're a big sibling. And if you're a parent, this is the perfect thing to surprise your kids with this year, despite not being able to go to marshmallow drops and Easter egg hunts. You don't even have to leave the house, so don't worry about if you don't have grass or a backyard. I have some chocolate eggs here. I'm gonna put two under this one. Does this feel like an Easter egg hunt, guys? In my house, I think we're gonna have fun looking to see what treats are under which eggs. And you don't even have to put treats under all of them because then that makes the hunt even more of a hunt. And here are my M&Ms, and I had some of my M&Ms spill out, so that means this must be the perfect spot to put another egg. What's your favorite color, special friend? Mine is purple, and I have a purple egg right here. I really like M&M's too, so I'm gonna do a couple of those. And you can make as many eggs as you would like. You can make as few as you would like. If you would like your egg hunt to be even 
more fun, you can make your mat bigger and spread your eggs out even more. I'm trying to open the grass a little bit so the candies will lay flat, but if they don't, it's no biggie. And special friends, it looks like I made a happy accident there. And I think I'll make a few more of those because those will be our special giveaway treats. And a couple of more happy accidents. Mrs. Ashley is just a little bit clumsy. Are you clumsy, special friend? Sometimes good things can come from being clumsy or even a little messy. More accidents! Yay! I don't think I did a good job of opening my M&Ms. They're running out of the bag. And here's something else you should know. If you like, you can fill a few of the eggs and then take turns with your siblings or your parents refilling them and you each can do a hunt of your own so there you have it special friends i think i'm gonna put a couple of eggs chocolate eggs around because because they're so pretty and they're delicious there is our scavenger hunt for easter this year Let's go on an egg hunt and see what we can find. I hope that you enjoyed this project and that you have a very happy Easter. See you later, special friends.